We've all heard the phrase, one man's trash is another man's treasure. It turns out that what often holds true for the antique business sometimes holds true for the biotech industry as well. Enter exosomes. Exosomes are teeny tiny sacs in each of our cells. They're about one one hundredth the size of a typical human cell. They're microscopic parcels secreted from cells and filled with cellular waste, RNA, proteins, and remnants of metabolic processes. The exosome's membrane is so similar to the cell's own membrane that it's able to slip inside another cell when it comes into contact. Microbiologists first discovered exosomes in the 1980s. Initially, scientists thought they were a kind of cellular trash bag, providing a way to get rid of the molecular waste a cell no longer needed. However, in the past decade, it's become increasingly clear that exosomes and what they carry are not trash, but rather they play a role in cellular communication. Intercellular signaling is achieved when a cell delivers their exosome contents to recipient cells. Biopharma companies have turned their attention to figuring out how to use these minuscule containers to deliver life-saving medicines, eventually even act as standalone therapeutics. But how does a drug get inside the exosome to begin with? First, exosomes come from cells grown in the lab. Once harvested, technicians load them with medicine, which can be injected into the patient. Once inside a patient, exosomes display affinities for tissue, based on the location in the body from which they come. Researchers control targeting by harvesting them from cells known to produce exosomes that deliver their goods to a specific tissue type. Exosomal delivery makes an especially attractive option for drug makers with products that face significant delivery obstacles. These include RNA-based drugs that have struggled to achieve efficient delivery, and biologic drugs too large to enter cells or cross the blood-brain barrier. Biotech companies are following up on this basic science by developing exosome-based therapeutics. Kodiak Biosciences, Cambridge, Massachusetts, has developed a proprietary platform that enables them to engineer cells to produce exosomes with specific contents and surface molecules that guide them to target tissues. Kodiak Biosciences plans to begin phase one clinical oncology studies of its treatments this year. Aruna Bio, Athens, Georgia, has developed exosomes that ferry drugs across the blood-brain barrier, a common stumbling block to drug delivery. Their research focuses on exosomes from neuronal stem cells that appear to reduce inflammation in the brains of mice and pigs and enhance their function. The company plans to develop these exosomes as therapies for stroke and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS. Evox Therapeutics, Oxford, UK, is preparing to enter phase one studies with an exosome-based therapy for lysosomal storage disorders. Finally, Celtex, Houston, Texas, is exploring the anti-inflammatory potential of neuronal stem cell-derived exosomes as a potential treatment for Alzheimer's disease. The therapeutic potential of exosomes goes beyond drug delivery. Regenerative medicine specialists at Temple University in Philadelphia demonstrated that injecting exosomes from embryonic stem cells can repair damaged cardiac muscle in a mouse model of heart attack. Research at the University of New Mexico suggests that healthy cells near tumors produce exosomes that kill cancer cells but leave normal cells unharmed.